Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of how Microsoft Dynamics 365 can be utilized to effectively manage your stakeholders. So we will today cover some areas of Dynamics 365 that will be beneficial in managing your stakeholders such as creating and managing accounts, <coughs> creating and managing contacts, effectively managing your activities such as phone calls or emails, etc that would, you would utilize in engaging with your stakeholders and some extra little bits like dashboards which could portray the data you require all on one page. Let's get started with creating and managing your stakeholder accounts. So creating and managing your stakeholder accounts in Dynamics is quite easy. So to create one, you just navigate to your accounts tab, click plus new, and enter in the details. And just hit save and close. And you will see now that has created the account record of DC Council. So if we go into an account record that has a bit more information, <coughs> you can see all the account information here. And then there is the neat functionality of having the timeline and Dynamics account records, which showcases some of the recent engagements that you or other users may have had with uh, ABC Council. So for example, in this one, you can see there was an appointment made from me with ABC Council, uh, if you click view more, you can see a bit more detail. 8 a.m. today, had a Teams meeting. And then you can also see there was a phone call made to Steve, which would be a contact of ABC Council that was made from me to get um, some approval for something. And in your accounts record, if you click into this little circle here, you can upload an image. And the importance of this is that if you have multiple uh, accounts with the same name, you can upload an image to distinguish between the two or three that you have with the same name. And I've also added in this extra section here in um, my accounts records to showcase some of the contacts that you might frequently communicate with. For example, Steve Hamilton here, he's a director, um, just some of his details here. If you click into his name, it will take you directly to his contact record where you'll be able to see a bit more information about him as well as uh, Steve's timeline to showcase the engagement that you or other users may have had with Steve as well on the individual level. And also you can upload documents within your accounts records in Dynamics. So if you navigate to your document section here, and you can see I've already uploaded like a magnetism logo. To do that, you just press upload and browse through your files. Today I'll just upload this ABC logo. Go OK. It takes a few seconds and it will upload that into the documents folder of the accounts record of ABC Council. And this is uh, integrated with SharePoint. So if you go press this triple dot here and go open location, press into it, you will see that it takes you to the SharePoint folder um, that this logo was uploaded to, which is quite neat. So you don't have to upload it twice, um, upload it to Dynamics and then upload to SharePoint and vice versa. Uh, you only need to upload it into one place and it will be uploaded to both. Within the phones and emails of this uh, account record as well, if you click into this phone button here, it will automatically um, open up the application that you would use to make outbound phone calls from your business, as well as open up a new activity for the phone call, um, say, 
talking about the meeting tomorrow called ABC Council and talk to Steve to talk about tomorrow's meeting just so you can record the details of the phone call that you have made just go save go back to your account record you will see that phone call being listed on the timeline here just like that last thing I want to show about accounts is that there are views that you can create which is fully customizable so for example my active accounts view here which showcases all the active accounts in my system but obviously this wouldn't be ideal for um, a real life scenario where businesses would be dealing with hundreds or thousands of accounts so more theoretically you'd be dealing with views such as my active accounts uh, which would only show the active accounts that are owned by you um, so you don't have to scroll through trying to find all the accounts that uh, you you're dealing with or that you own and then you can see here it's got like account name account type email main phone it's all customizable as well if you go to the edit columns function here and add columns you can add the additional fields such as uh, address one and then if you go apply will uh, showcase the address as well that is related to the account if there was one and then you can just go ahead and save this as a new view with address one save and then that is your new view created which is all personalized for you and yeah you can go ahead and create as many of them as you want next up we have the contacts so creating and managing contacts is quite similar to creating and managing your accounts if you go to plus new just like you did with the accounts and add in your details John Smitty employee and then click save and close you'll see here John Smitty has been created and then if we go into one with a bit more detail such as Steve Hamilton you can see it's quite similar to the layout of an accounts record um, details as well as a timeline showcasing the recent engagement that you would have made with this contact record I've just added a small <coughs> extra field here to showcase the account that Steve would be related to which in this case is ABC Council um, so you just search them up ABC Council add them in what that does is that if you click into it it just takes you to the re account record to show that Steve is a contact under ABC Council so it shows that he's a director of ABC Council next up is managing activities within your Dynamics environment so here I've added a separate area just for managing your activities so the user doesn't have to go into specific contact or an account to see the list of activities that require the user's attention um, or further action um, so here you can filter them by the activity type so for example if you wanted to see just your activities regarding phone calls you can select that and it will just show the phone calls and just select all if you want to go back to seeing all of them as well as uh, filtering them by the due dates so today or earlier because obviously you want to clear out all your activities that are due today or earlier be 
before you get to the other ones. And while in the topic of activities, I also want to introduce a neat integration Dynamics 365 has with Outlook. So for example, you can track emails directly from Outlook to the account or contact record it relates to in Dynamics 365. All you need to do is go to the email in your Outlook, for example, like this one here from Jake, um, emailing to follow up regarding that inquiry last week. Click this Dynamics 365 button right here. And it will load up a separate panel where it will say it's not tracked yet because you haven't tracked yet. And you can see here it's an unknown recipient because Jake doesn't exist in our system yet. So all you need to do is press this plus button here, add him as a contact or a lead or as an account. Today it will be in the contact. And it already auto populates all the details that are required um, and that it can get off from the email. Save and close. That would have created the account, I mean the contact record, and also have now tracked his email, which you will be able to see if you go back to your contacts in Dynamics. Go to Jake's contact record. You can see all his details are there, as well as the email that is from your Outlook tracked in your timeline here as well. With um, tracking emails that um, are associated to an account or contact record that already exists in your system, same process. However, you just don't need to create a new record. All you need to do is beside this not track button, uh, below the not track button, sorry, in the set regarding, you just look for the correct record, which in this case is ABC Council. And simple as that, uh, your email is tracked to ABC Council. If I go back to my environment, go to ABC Council, you will see in the timeline that the email that you have tracked is now in your Dynamics environment for ABC Council as well. So with Outlook integration, you can also uh, track appointments straight to your Outlook calendar if you create them in Dynamics. If I create a new appointment here, and add in all the details say this will be a teams meeting so i'll say go through contract click this teams meeting button and yep yeah, that's all good hello just sending in invites so we can go through that contract Thanks, Simon. If I go save, what that will do is also create an appointment in your Outlook. If you go into your calendar, you will see populating here, right here. Go through contract. Just like that, so you don't have to send it twice in your Dynamics environment as well as your Outlook. Saves admin time once again. And works the other way around. So if you go and say, same thing, go through contract. Just add in their detail and then dynamics button here you should be able to select this abc council and the attendees and now it's tracked then you just send 
if you go back to your accounts of ABC Council you should be able to see that one as well in the timeline which is right here from Simon Rowe um, this one was the one that I've created in Dynamics and this is the one that I've just created in Outlook so one last thing I wanted to show you uh, with the Outlook integration is that if you go into your personalization settings here and go to email you can see here um, on the track for select the email messages to track in Microsoft Dynamics 365 currently I've set to no email messages just so I can show you how the tracking works in um, Outlook to Dynamics but you can select here um, for all email messages email messages in response to Dynamics 365 email or leads, contacts and accounts or records that are email enabled um, to save you time from having to manually track them into Dynamics um, it will just automatically track them for you based on the preference you have set here so the last thing I wanted to show today within your Dynamics environment is the ability to create uh, dashboards so data in its raw form can sometimes get a bit overwhelming and it doesn't necessarily portray the information that you need so it's a nice way to um, view your data in a more graphic and easy to interpret way is to create dashboards so here I have created like a very basic dashboard showing in the logged in users open activities as well as the activities that are um, categorized by the types so they can prioritize what they need to work on today and that's about it for today's demonstration so today I've shown you the benefits of using Dynamics 365 um, that you can do all the work necessary to manage your stakeholders within one system and today I've covered how Dynamics 365 can um, makes it easy to create and manage your stakeholders by quickly creating contact and account records, uh, tracking your engagement with your stakeholders, smooth integration with the already used applications such as Outlook, um, efficiently prioritizing your work with activities, and creating easy to read dashboards. So thank you for listening.